afraid. Although people say they're excited about 2024, I also think people are afraid of 2024 because oh, 2023 yeah. was a roller coaster. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And I think you know what when you get off of a roller coaster and you're kind of like a little spinny and you're that part. Legs are wobbly. <laughs> I think that's where we're at. We're like, yeah. that was something. And now how do I get steady again? Yeah. So I can walk forward. So we're still yeah. in that like wobble wobble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After the roller coaster, like we would like to walk forward, but it's yeah. like we're not sure that we actually could do it and not fall over. <laughs> right, right. What would you what advice would you give people right now? You know, um, what would you tell people right now? To not hurry. Thank you. Like to really yes. just be present with it. Like I love that one of the things that you were talking about was being in the flow. And I think that a lot of people, another word that was used a lot that we are deprogramming and letting go of is force. People are yeah. forcing themselves to do things. People are like choosing based off of obligation and all the have tos instead mm -hmm. of, okay. What do I really like? What would my family really enjoy? What's my body asking for? And really yeah. sitting with those questions instead of basing your current choices and your upcoming options on the past stuff, all those past reference points, like really being like, okay, blank slate, truly not that like baloney blank slate that people <laughs> say, <laughs> you know, like truly, truly, if I had out of all possible options, mm -hmm. what am I really going to consider? And then is that going to work for me? And part of what I like doing with that to do that is to check in with my yes and my no with my body every day. Yeah. But I also do it for the year. Like, it's like, okay, this is a new year. That's the first thing I did each, I do each morning, but I did it with a different, like, presence i feel like hmm. with this part with the january 1st this year it mm -hmm. felt different there was yeah. a a vibrational shift there was so for sure was like okay body what are you picking up on hello yeah yeah and now what's our yes okay and body mm. now what's our no and for what i love is that for everybody how those yeses and no's shows up differently and Talk to us a little bit about that. Can you give an example of what that looks like? Because somebody's probably listening like, okay, so you're talking about your body saying yes and no. What are you asking your body? What is your body responding to the yes on the no? If you could just give a little bit of kind of context so someone can understand what to do if they're driving at home or whatever, how can they check in with themselves? Well, I love doing it. One, I wouldn't recommend if it's the first time for you to do it, to do it while you're driving. Or no, no, any, don't. <laughs> heavy machinery. Yeah. Um, but uh, you can just listen to this again later. Um, <laughs> but I actually give my body hugs and squeezes first because a lot of people, they have a hard time connecting to their yes and no because they're in their head. They're already yeah. anticipating all the different ways it's going to show up and they try to like cognitize it instead of mm -hmm. just receive it. And then for each person, it's a little bit different. So some people, they pick up on it as a movement. So I, I invite people to do this first standing up with their knees very soft, mm -hmm. not locked, mm -hmm. and with their eyes closed and asking, hi, body, what's our yes today? Like really first greeting it. Hi, mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. our yes today? And seeing what movement shows up. Stillness is also valid too. So it could be moving forward is a yes or moving back, moving to the side. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do like a little bit of a merengue and like a salsa. Yeah hips you know I'm like all right let's see that that might be the yes today it might be a little like you know head bobby kind of action whatever that is it can also be an internal movement where all of a sudden it kind of feels like a root inside mm -hmm. uh and then for some they hear things they hear the yes or they hear a bell ring I've had people that they hear wind blowing or rustling of leaves and ocean ocean crash you know the waves crashing they hear it uh for some people it's a it's Something visual where they, if they are attuned to auras or colors or patterns, mm -hmm. yeah, an image might come up. It really is every sense. Those yeses and nos can show up in any sense. I find that for most people, when they're first starting it, it'll probably be either movement, a sound, or a visual. Mm -hmm. And then less often, but I definitely have heard examples of people having a yes or a no as a taste. Like maybe oh. vanilla as a taste or metallic as a no, and mm -hmm. then vanilla as a yes, or like the smell of lavender, you know, it, it's something that makes you expand. It yeah. brings you a smile to your face. So whatever that is. So some, I was working with a couple 
And I wanted them to get their yes and their no as individuals, Mm -hmm. but then also what's the yes as, as a couple, because you got to include your needs as an individual in in these questions that you're asking as a couple. Mm -hmm. And the guy was a a male, female relationship. And the guy was very much like, I just all of a sudden feel happy. I'm just, I feel like I'm playing this, my my favorite Mm -hmm. game right now. And I'm like, and it was a feeling like, ha, yeah. 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 And for the woman, it was very much a, like, visceral feeling is in like a sensation so for her you no know, was like heaviness and contraction like she was tightening and then the yes was like ex- like a lifting up you know mm. and it was just so nice for them to have this con- ongoing conversation together but also when then when it was the our yes and our no it was different and oh. a lot of people think that oh if if my yes is in this it's going to be the same as when I say have my individual, yes. Well, a relationship is its own entity. Mm. It's its own like organism. Yeah. And so it's it's you're including your arm and leg that is the the male or the female or the two males or the two females. You're they're a part of this organism, but they aren't the organism. They're just a mm-hmm. part of it. And they're creating something different. That's why my yes, if we were going to do a yes and no together, it would be very different than if I did what's our yes with my partner or what's yeah. my, our yes when I'm going to go and pick out a restaurant with my mom. Mm. It's going to be different because so, we bring something different to the table. So what I'm getting from you, if I understand correctly, ultimately what you're saying is, so you have your own yes, you have your yes as yourself, and then you have your yes as your partner. So if I understand you correctly and working with the body and communication, and I do that type of work, um, what you're essentially saying is you as an individual, you're just that. You're you as an individual. So when you get into a relationship, what you feel that is for you, the yes that is for you when you're by yourself may not be the yes when it's two people. Mm-hmm. Is that what you right? It may be amplified. It, it may, may be amplified. Or, different. Yeah. Right. Or it may feel different. different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And with the same question, the reason why I say that, because I think that's extremely powerful uh, for people to understand that, because we always have this thing where um, we project what we're thinking and feeling on other people. So when you start understanding that in your head, as I'm walking, my yes by myself and my yes with my husband may be two different things. It may be amplified or it may be, it may feel less. It may feel a certain way. So ultimately it's really understanding yourself first yes be okay that makes total sense 